whether my number one coastal at the end of 2022 is... <laughs> so I've had the opportunity to experience many different roller coasters. My total coaster count by the end of 2022 is 58 credits. But only 20 coasters can be on this list. So starting at number 20 is Hollywood Rip Ride Rocket located at Universal Studios Florida. This ride takes you up a vertical lift hill and plummets you at 167 feet. This ride has a selection of soundtracks you can listen to while on the ride. But that's what the ride only has going for it. So it only stands at number 20. Number 19 is Nemesis Inferno located at Fort Park Resort. This ride is a B&M inverted coaster, which means the coaster is below the track rather than above the track. This coaster has many twists and turns, including some inversions, including a very unique interlocking corkscrew. It even goes through the volcano throughout the pre lift hill section. Inverts are a great coaster to start your roller coaster journey. This coaster has a special place in my heart because it's my first coaster that went upside down. So it has to be on this list. Number 18 is Wicker Man, located at Orton Towers. This ride was made by GCI and is made out of wood. This gives the whole Wicker Man aesthetic. This ride has a giant Wicker Man structure and the trains even go through it. This ride is a speed machine. Its speed doesn't stop from the top of the lift hill to the brake front. It's definitely a must do if you're at Alton Towers. Number 17 is Oblivion, also located at Alton Towers. Even though this ride is a one drop wonder, it definitely doesn't disappoint. This ride pulls some forces when you drop down the hole. The anticipation when you crawl up the lift hill to the drop gets the heart pumping. It's sure one good adrenaline rush. Number 16 is Kumba, located at Bush Gardens Tampa. This ride is a brilliant looping machine. It's super intense if you ride in the back row and has great views in the front row. It's definitely underrated, but it can get rough depending on where you're sitting. Number 15 is Manta, located at SeaWorld Orlando. This ride is a really good flying coaster. Obviously, the pretzel loot is a standout inversion, but it can't rank too high because of how intense it really is. You'll only understand if you ride this coaster. Number 14 is Sword of Ride, located at Fort Park Resort. This coaster has a very unique theme. Twisting and turning through the saw traps, and then the beyond vertical drop is really good and intense if you sat in the right seat. However, uh, if you're in the wrong seat, this ride can be rough, so it can't rank higher than this. Number 13 is Stealth, also located at Fort Park Resort. The third fastest acceleration in the world definitely doesn't disappoint. It's so intense wherever you sit, the views when you reach the top of the top hat is also amazing. Number 12 is Expedition Everest, located at Disney Animal Kingdom. The theme on this ride is stunning, the storyline in the queue is very efficient for the coaster. Obviously, it was a very expensive ride to build, but it is definitely Disney's best coaster on Lando. It's not one to miss. Just missing out of the top 10 is Kraken, located at SeaWorld Orlando. This is a very underrated flawless coaster. It is also intense in the back row. This ride also has some decent hang time. It's definitely not one to miss if you like flawless coasters. So starting off the top 10 coasters is the Swarm, located at Fort Park Resort. The one and only win coaster on this list. It has some good elements. The hang time you get on this coaster, especially the dive drop, is amazing. It's a very well themed coaster and it's definitely the best coaster in the park for me. Number 9 is Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind, located at Epcot. Even though this ride is inside a dark building, it has great theming. If you walk through the queue line, you'll understand it has many references to the film. But the coaster doesn't disappoint either. It has a great backwards launch and has some brilliant airtime moments throughout the ride. Number 8 is Nemesis located at Alton Towers, the original Nemesis. John Woolley did a brilliant job in designing this coaster. This ride has many outstanding moments and no matter where you sit, it's really intense. It's a solid coaster, but not my number one coaster in the UK. Number 7 is Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure located at Universal Islands of Adventure. With one of the most expensive coasters in the world, it can't miss this list. Even if you're not a Harry Potter fan, you will still appreciate this coaster. The theming throughout this ride is amazing and with 7 launches this ride won't disappoint. Number 6 is Montu located at Bush Gardens Tampa. The best B&M invert on this list and probably in the world. It packs so much into layout with 7 inversions so intense. It even has some trenches for some near miss elements. Even though I missed out on Dragon Challenge this is a brilliant alternate coaster. Number 5 is Secret also located at Bush Gardens Tampa. The second dive coaster on this list and is much better than Oblivion. This coaster has a lot more elements compared to Oblivion. It even has an extra drop and don't forget the splash zone, where if you're standing near it, you will be soaked. Number 4 is Mako, located at SeaWorld Orlando. The only B&M hyper on this coaster list. This ride packs so much airtime into it, the lap bar combination is awesome and won't disappoint. If you're looking for a good overall coaster with no inversions, 
and this is the ride for you. Number 3 is the Smiler located at Alton Towers. Now you're probably thinking, why the Smiler? I don't know either to be honest, I just haven't had a bad experience with this ride. I think the break after the first 7 inversions help you before the next 7 inversions. It's a great coaster, but don't ride it more than 2 or 3 times a day. If you love inversions, then this is the ride for you. Number 2 is Iron Guazi located at Bush Gardens Tampa. This was my first hybrid coaster and I can tell you it didn't disappoint. This coaster is non-stop from the beginning to the end. The pacing of this coaster is crazy and the way it whips you into its elements is mind-boggling. However, my number one coaster at the end of 2022 is... Velocicoaster, located at Universal Islands of Adventure. Where do I start? This coaster is jam-packed with many different elements and let's not forget the Mosasaurus roll. It's like the whole ride was building up to that specific moment. It's just a better overall package compared to Iron Gwazi from the theming to the ride. But what is your number one coaster you've written? Leave your thoughts down below and if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. If you've enjoyed the video, why not click on this video? It's free, so why not?